DJ Ben 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 Dana. Hey, yo, what's good? It's DJ Ben Dana Black, Mr. Well Connected, even more respected. Mr. Keep Calm, I feed these streets. Hashtag I am Buffalo and all that. We're going to get right into it. Diesel, what's good? What's good, man? What's going on? Cooling, cooling, man. I see you moving out here, man. Yeah, man. Just, you know, trucking through. That's what it is. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Diesel, yeah. come on. Definitely, definitely. I know we talked uh, maybe a couple weeks ago. You were saying you were down in uh, North Carolina. Can we kind of talk about that real quick? Because I'm, I'm, I'm going to let you know now. I'm kind of, I'm slightly kind of jealous. Yeah. I wish I was there, but. Uh, I appreciate that. Yeah, I do. I appreciate that. Yeah, no, uh, we went out to uh, Charlotte, North Carolina, and uh, opened up for Yo Gotti out there. That was uh, that was big. Place was packed. Freedom Lounge, Charlotte, North Dope. Carolina. Just packed wall to wall. <laughs> had, had, had the crowd jumping, you know what I mean? Yeah, Bouncing, yeah. you know what I mean? So it was good, though. It was a lot, made a lot of connections. Yeah, yeah. Invited me to come back down. So That's we're going to be coming back down. Hey, man. That's super dope. Yo Gotti though, know, that's yeah. Super dope. I would I probably Yo Gotti called me right now, I was like, Yo, listen, we want you to just be in the in the in the crowd for the concert. I probably fake sick from work and, right. and actually, and actually <laughs> right. That's crazy he was able to uh, open up. But um, you got a lot of things going on, so let's just talk about the. Um, I know you just gave me the uh, project. You got the uh, Diesel mixtape, uh, Way Station. Kind of talk a little bit about about that project. How did that, how did that come about? So that came about. Uh, Link back up with Coaches, yeah. Quiet as Cup. Um, started doing more recording, and then we started working on the uh, the Don project. Oh, okay. And then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do a couple of singles off of that first, but I want to do a bunch of material first. Yeah. So I was like, let me do a couple of mixtapes and release those, as well as releasing the Don. Oh, okay. But take a little bit more time with the project. Yeah. Make sure it's right for everybody. Yeah, you know I mean, because I don't want to just put out trash. I don't want to just put out stuff that people just listen. And be like, All right, yeah, that's cool. That's cool. <laughs> I want you know, you gotta be able to enjoy it. You gotta yeah. have fun with it. You know, and that's everyone that's got a copy of the Way Station. Yeah. Uh, that's what I've been getting back is good positive vibes, saying that they really liked it. You know, really looking forward. Like the one person was like, "Man, it's in my CD player," and oh sweet, it just keeps coming on. And I'm like, "Hey, it's in there playing. Let's go jam out." How, how did you come up with the name, the Way Station? Like, what, what what's the title all about? Like, what what's the background on that? I I looked at it and I was like, you know, I, I'm Diesel, truck, yeah, Way Station. Oh, okay, okay, I get it. You know, <laughs> so I was like, you know, let's just put it in there, you know, and that's a dope concept. As you look at, as you see the the cover, yeah, you know I mean, I'm sure we'll throw a picture of that up there. Definitely. Everyone can see that, so that way they can know what to look for yeah. when they're out there because it'll be in stores real soon. Okay, you know what I mean. So we're getting it there. And I'll have the links in the description uh, also. So if you're watching this on YouTube, links will be in the description. Um, if you're listening to this uh, via a uh, clip of this on the radio or whatever, uh, just follow. What's the name of the, uh, the website again? CrookedNation.com. Crooked. Everything is CrookedNation.com. That's you can go right. There and find everything on there. Uh, everything. Also, too. But I like I like, the, I like the cover. This is like, I tell artists all the time, too, you got to have a professional looking cover. And that cover is actually, it's not too extravagant, like a bunch of different colors and stuff like that, too. But right. It, it gets the point across. Yeah. Exactly. That's what, you know, I got a good team behind me. Yeah. You know, I I put things out there and then they start running with it. And then we just, we keep talking back and forth until we're like, okay, we're both satisfied. Yeah. Or we're all satisfied of what's going on yeah. and what's going out. That's dope. And it's good that you actually put like some thought in, in, into it, even thinking to even do it that way. Yeah, um, that's, you know, that's, that's part of who I am. Yeah. You know? And besides like the uh besides this project, the Waste Station and the um the like the, the concert and everything with uh Yo Gotti, what else has been uh going I know you said you had uh last time we had an interview you were saying you were going on uh, like vacation or something to I yeah. keep getting the name of the place. what's the name of the place? Punta Cana. Punta Cana. Punta Cana, yeah. We already booked our trip <laughs> for next year coming up. How was that? It was great, man. Sunshine. Definitely. Oh man, it just nice to be away from everything. Yeah. It was quiet, went parasailing. That was wild. That's, Parasailing is the boat thing? Or what? Yeah, where they hook you up to a, uh, a parachute oh, off yeah. of a boat, and then you go up in the, up in the sky, and I've they pull you along by a boat. Oh, it, was, <laughs> it was peaceful. As soon as you got up in the air, yeah. everything was quiet. See, I would be scared like the boat was going to stop or something. I'm just going to like fall into the water. It's, it's funny. It's funny because we're I, me and me and uh, me and my man took our turn, yeah. and then. Uh, 
our man took his turn and they started slowing down <laughs> and it started coming down they're like uh we're getting closer to the water what's going on and all of a sudden the driver's like oh uh, started going faster he's like okay <laughs> and i can swim too but i i just i just can't do it but that's not like that no yeah you got you gotta worry about that parachute coming yeah. down and how was the uh how was the food out there it's all right the food's all right yeah it's all right i mean <laughs> it's you know That'd it's, be my it's eatable. Traveling, I always want to try like just different foods and stuff. Like yeah, that. they definitely got different. Oh man, they had uh, actual squid, like oh, cooking saute squid, like baby squid and stuff oh, like wow. that. Yeah, they they didn't cook it like <laughs> well. You. you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's I a little you. chewy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if they like it like that, but whatever. Definitely. Um, so, like with the, with the music and all that too. So you got the way station and all that too. You were telling me is another project that you may be should we be talking about that the project that may be coming after that or whatever the, the Don joint yeah we yeah, we can talk about that I got man I got the track uh, called Showtime oh okay with uh, with my girl Mel yeah. M-E-L I can't remember what 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 it stands for <laughs> she's gonna kill me on that one but that's alright though but um yeah like I said it's called Showtime and yeah. it's just it's that get you going you know, Definitely. get you going up in the club and just bounce. Let's go. And I like the joint that you. I'm horrible with titles. Remember, said the one joint that you sent me. Um, you sent me two records. One of them I was like, I really like this joint. Yeah. Was it Adidas or something? Like that? Adidas. Yeah. A D I D A. Yeah, that's my joint right that there, man. Dope. You know, yeah. took your three stripes up. <laughs> you know. But then I heard that record. Y'all gotta give me some shell toes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right. That's what I'm talking about, man. I'm all about my Adidas. Get no. your shell toes. Get your high tops. And I like those type of records. That's just like a fun record. Like you listen to and you just in a good mood like it just right like in a, in a good space sometimes you need it like sometimes you need like your your regular music is in your zone but sometimes you need that just uplifting just like exactly fun 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 type music. I, I like i like my my grimy gutter music yeah. you know what i'm saying like that's what i grew up listening to yeah. you know what i mean goody mob stuff uh, like that. i mean just you know not your mainstream yeah. hip-hop stuff you know but i like to live a life of let's have fun let's be happy yeah. let's you know what i mean if you know i when i i talk about stuff that i've been through and that i've done and i i don't i don't preach that yeah you know i don't preach that you live that life because yeah. that's not a life you should live yeah you know what i mean it's it's all about let's just have a good time you know yeah. just but if you're gonna do something stupid <laughs> i mean that's you know that's it is what it is definitely, you know definitely. I feel you. <laughs> and um before i forget because my memory is horrible let's talk about the uh the event that well the extra couple events that you got coming up yeah so i'm going back to charlotte April 24th, oh, okay. doing again with Yo Gotti, and then coming back May 3rd, Friday, May 3rd, with my man, DJ Definitely. DJ Bandana Black. I'm acting a fool. We you know, it's going to be a ball. Yeah, it's going to be bananas <laughs> that night. We're going we're gonna to have a good time because we got my man Reef performing, Yeah. and then we got my man DJ Optimus Prime performing. The DJ Optimus Prime. Right? <laughs> the DJ Optimus Prime about That's to scratch what? down the building. That's about to be crazy. I'm, I think I'm more excited than anybody for this event. Like, right? This I, I can't wait. Be, it's yeah, definitely, yeah. it's going to be real. I'm close to maybe having a female yeah. rapper in the show. Oh, okay. But, you know, hopefully. We'll yeah. see. That would be a nice, nice tied to it and let them know the location and times and all that too it's gonna be at stamps bar city of tonawanda 9 p.m doors open at it's gonna be ten dollar pre-sale tickets and day of fifteen dollars oh, okay that's at the door fifteen dollars day of soon as you soon as it hits midnight on friday may 3rd yeah Fifteen dollars. So basically, what he's saying, if you listen to it right now, it's in your best interest to get these pre-sale tickets. Yes, ten dollars. <laughs> ten dollars. How can you? How could you not want to be a part of yeah. a ten dollar event with myself, DJ Bandana Black, Reef, and DJ Optimus Prime? Definitely. I mean, it's, that's that's a deal. That's a, that's what I'm saying. You know what I mean? You go anywhere else, it's going to be 20, 30 bucks. Yeah, and that's just for one of us, like to have everybody all in the same building. That's what I'm saying. That's, that's definitely going to be dope. I exactly. And I, I like Stan's Bar too. That's a nice, it is. nice, nice spot. Drip City is awesome too. Exactly. That's what I mean. They got a great sound, 
great lights yeah. and great drinks. Yeah, I like they uh, how they have like a little stage set up and everything. Too. Yeah, too. a lot of events I get booked for in the stage like the same level as like the dance floor. And all right. That too, oh, so I can't stand. Yeah, that. it's like a little little, little weird, but I like. Yeah, it's like how can I perform with everybody when I'm seeing everyone yeah. top of everyone's hair? <laughs> you know what I mean, I want to be able to see everyone's fucking eyeballs. Yeah. You know, coming down. Definitely. You know, so and then they have the little back room too. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So we're gonna try and make a little. Little it, food VIP for all the performers. Oh, sweet! So we yeah. got heavy ramen noodles and hot pockets. <laughs> <laughs> you know it. <laughs> that be on my writer. I don't care if I'm like, like at the DJ Khaled level. They say what's on my writer. I need hot pockets, ramen noodles, uh, maybe a little turkey stuff from the corner <laughs> store. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, but that's definitely uh, dope. I can't wait to uh, wait to do that event. So, I mean, besides that, what else has been? Uh, what else has been going on with you? Oh man, I'm just working. Trying to get more projects put together, yeah. uh, finishing up with the Don, coming out with another mixtape coming out. I'm not gonna let everyone know the name of it yet. You know <laughs> Definitely I mean? don't let me know because I can't I, keep a secret. I'm gonna announce it. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah. Right away. <laughs> so no, that one, that one's definitely in the start of it. Expect uh, expect a heavy dose of some dip set on this. Yo. Dipset is my favorite. Like Dipset is my favorite group of all. That is a long story short, and I'm not even going to explain this right now. I wouldn't have the name Bandana Black if it wasn't for Dipset. Yeah, I love Dipset. Like you can't say anything bad about Dipset at all. I love right? Dipset, yeah. yeah, I told I told my cousin uh, the other day. I was like, yeah. I'm already working on the next mixtape yeah. and it's gonna be some dips out. He was like, Yo, what? <laughs> What'd you say? I was like, Yeah. He was like, Yo, you doing uh crunk music? I was like <laughs> Just stay patient. We're getting there. <laughs> That's definitely gonna be a good lane with the dip. Like even like for my, my birthday was in January and we were out in uh, Niagara Falls, DJ One, we had a birthday party there and it was my birthday, so I was under the influence, whatever. So right. uh, the DJ, like, we're gonna play a little bit of dip set for my uh for my man DJ Bandana Blacks. So, like twenty minutes later they asked me to DJ. So usually as a DJ, you're not supposed to say, play the same music as the DJ before you. So right. I was just like, yo, I know he just played Dipset, but Dipset. Dip it's set. my birthday, man. <laughs> Did another half an hour Dipset club went crazy, but that's definitely right. dope. I like how you come up with just different concepts and different things too that that, that actually makes sense. Like even like with yeah. the, the, the way station with the, the name Diesel or even like what you saying with the Dipset thing. Yeah. That's, that's dope stuff to kind of Yeah, that's play off that's right. what I'm saying. Like once once everyone really sees the album cover of the way station yeah. and the name Diesel and what's on the cover you're just gonna that's what that's what i that's what i'm trying to do is everything that i put out is just all about a concept and yeah everything's tied together and that's good that you put the because a lot of people they just like they'll see two random words on twitter put together oh that's the name of my company that's the name of my mixtape but it has right. no meaning or no exactly no with it. like where'd you get that from like yeah. uh twitter like, <laughs> it sounded cool uh, okay <laughs> right it's like definitely and I'm, i mean I'm, I'm happy for you i'm glad you're able to like travel and do like actually what you love and that you're staying consistent with it like it's never anytime i talk to you like, Yo, I'm, I'm doing this or i'm still working on this project or i'm gonna start doing this to actually stay consistent with what you yeah. what you're doing and that's really what it takes to stay consistent with it that's all it is definitely like that um another thing that i wanted to um ask you also uh was like when you go out of town and stuff like for these different events or like that too like with the old guys on that too is it like do you know like beforehand or is it like a last minute thing where you just gotta no i know i know beforehand some sometimes it'll be you know uh like I got offered to uh, go to the uh, South by Southwest. Oh, for real! I always wanted to go there, but it was last minute. Oh, okay. and I was already tied into something else. Yeah, so I couldn't, I couldn't break that yeah. because of how short it was. Yeah, you know what I mean. So I was like, well, I mean, you win some, you lose some. <laughs> you know what I mean? You got to just keep rolling with with what's given to you and I think people will respect that and be more prone to offer it again if they see like you know what he already had an obligation right he did that because then they can trust that if they had you for something that you're not last minute going exactly that's what it is because I'd rather I'd rather be straightforward and be like yo I I can't because of this instead of oh I don't know I don't know I don't know let me hold on hold on I don't know and that's that's a good way to do business there's been times where like I've been booked for an event and I'm already tied into this event. Even if they didn't give me a deposit, they say, I want you for this event and I'll get called for another event. And it's like, then they're double the price. And I'm like, damn, this guy like some right. double the price. I said, but I already gave my word and said, I'm going to do that. And they respect it more because they'll come hit you back on the, on the next go round. Exactly. That's, that's even dope to even have that type of, I mean, offer to even be offered to do something. Yeah. This, I mean, I, this wound up being from uh, 2013 in Baltimore. Oh wow! Yeah, doing a show. We I uh, we went out to Baltimore, did a show out in Baltimore. 
uh, headlined that one, put actually put it together. And uh, my man Brian Nightingale, yeah. he was uh, a singer. He still is a singer. Um, he performed on it. And then next thing you know, we just got back in contact. Oh, and now he's hitting me up and be like, hey, man, I got this. I got this. That's definitely dope. And the, um, the girl that you were saying, Mel, that's on the uh, on, on on the project, whatever. Yeah, she's from the area, also. She's from Buffalo. Yes. Oh, okay. Yep. Sweet. She has a um, she has an acting school, so oh, she wow. teaches acting, singing, stuff like that. Yeah. 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 I mean, she's she's got a nice uh, Mary J. Blige type feel. Oh, sweet. You know what I mean? So yeah. it's real nice. You know. Nobody else is doing that either. No, yeah. not at all. That's when when Cole was like, she sounds. More like that Mary J. Blige because when we put the record record together, we put Mary J.'s voice in the hook. Oh. Because we were like, this is what we're looking for. Yeah. This is the type of hook we want. Uh-huh. And then he was like, yo, I got this female. Oh, that's dope. She sounds, she's got the same vibe. <laughs> that's dope. I was like, all right. So then put it together and there we go. Definitely, that's definitely dope. And um, the uh, the Adidas project, uh, not Adidas project, but the Adidas uh, single also too. Um, make sure y'all check out my radio shows and all that too, because we will be blasting off uh, that single. Like I, that record just gets me happy for some reason. Like I'm, right, and I don't forgot a pair of shell toes. I got I'm going to get a pair of shell toes this week. Like, you I'm have excited. to now, man. A D I D A S A D I D A S. Definitely, that joint is catching. That I, I, I like that record. Right, I appreciate that, man. That's yeah. like fun. I always wanted like matter of fact one of the times when you have like a studio session like that too just let me i want to just come and just actually just watch like what you're yeah. doing on the studio oh that's, for sure that, that sounds like 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 some fun i, I want to see something oh like yeah that. we have a blast man that's it we just vibe out just get to going you know spend a little bit of time talking yeah. talking business getting things organized a lot of people don't understand that it's it's not all about being in the studio and recording music yeah making beats it's there's so much more to it than that you yeah. gotta you gotta plan for stuff you yeah. know what i mean if you don't have your your ducks in the right order uh-huh. it's true it doesn't matter what you're doing yeah. it could be owning a restaurant it could be being a dj it could be anything yeah. if you don't it could be just life Mm-hmm. You're not good. Nothing, nothing's gonna go right. You know what I mean? Everything's gonna take one step forward, two steps back. Yeah, you're always trying to catch up because you're not putting everything in the right order. Yeah, that's good advice. I, like I said, I hundred percent agree with that. Yeah. Uh-huh. And I know last time that we had you up, we were talking about the um, like the merchandise and all that. Have you already started doing that? Or yep, getting we're, we're getting into the process. It's already working right now, oh, so that'll be cool. coming out by summertime. Oh, definitely. We'll have that linked up on CrookedNation.com. Definitely. Make I, sure y'all go to Save Crooked Nation and your little save joints and your little tabs and all that. That's it. So y'all can consistently go there and get some merchandise and all that, too. I'm yeah, to you can find out. Yeah, also too. get to the uh, Spotify, iTunes, Amazon catch that adidas uh don't be mad i got singles on there man just look me up all you gotta do definitely one thing i wanted to ask also too and like i don't know i do like countless interviews i never ask people this but like how do you pick like you so you record a lot you have a lot of songs and stuff like that too how do you pick like what's going to be the single or the one the one joint that you really want to push like with so many good records how do you just say okay this is the one that we should we should push it's just that feeling. It's that feeling that everybody gets. It's oh. not just it's not just you yourself. Cause, I mean, yeah, I I feel great about every song I do. Yeah. But, you know, you I look at my team around me and be like, hey, you know, how they feel just from hearing. It. I would not even asking them. Yeah. You know, like when Cole, as soon as we didn't even get the song all the way done and Cole was just like yo man this song is just <laughs> this song is just it's in it's own lane and I was like I know yeah I know you know that's and the- then that's everyone else started saying yo man this is hot this is that this is that joint and I was like Showtime. <laughs> Definitely. One of the things that you keep saying that's actually like sticking out to me that's actually important is you, you say the word team. So it's good. It's like you can't do everything yourself to actually have a team or people that surround you that can even give you advice or you can have yeah. listen to a record on that too. I think that's really an important part of just life in general. Anything that you want to have a team or people around you to kind of, I don't know, like with me, even as a DJ, like it might be a record about, yo, this record is hot. And I'm like, you know what? Let me ask a couple other DJs or just different people that's around me. And they're like, well, it's kind of hot or somebody like, yo, this drink's completely trash like that too so it's good to have a, right. a team around you you don't want just a bunch of yes men around you telling you like everything is good because you're gonna waste your talent money and time if everybody's telling you something is good or you should go with this exactly and you being a, um 
a person that can accept that, I can tell that you saying, okay, the team said this, or even without hearing it, they said it like that too. You can kind of take that 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 feedback. Yeah. That's one of the things of of being successful is you got to be able to take feedback on different things. You have to. Yeah. You might be mad, but so what? Yeah. It, I mean, there's been there's plenty of songs where I'm like, yo, man, this song is this is that song, <laughs> and everyone's like, yeah, it's all right. I'm like, what do you mean? <laughs> You're crazy. This is that joint, though. And then the next one comes on, and I'll be like, oh, whatever, man. Yeah. Shut up. Or it's whatever. A, it's, it's the same thing, even like with DJs. Like sometimes, like, yo, I just killed the radio just now. They're like, well, it was all right. Right. What you mean? Like, yo, I just killed this joint. And then right. I, I'll take that feedback back. You know, let me let me listen to what they're saying, actually try it out. Then next, you know, phone lines going crazy. Exactly. Twitter, Facebook, everything also, too. Yeah. And um, one thing I would ask you also, too, like, I know for me, it's almost impossible. Like, with you being so, and you're probably more busier than me, how do you, like, keep up with, like, social media and all that, too? Like, as far as, like, with the fans and, like, whether it's Twitter, tweeting, and different it's that, tough. Too? That's tough. Except for you also. Yeah, I don't... I mean... I'm not really a computer, dude. Yeah. I'm more of a... Let's just get the work in. Let's let's do work. Yeah. You know what I mean? Where... Nowadays, it... That's what it's all about. Yeah. And in the future, it's just gonna be even bigger. Yeah. So, you gotta... You have to adapt even if you don't. You gotta... You don't want to do it. You got to do it. Yeah. And or if find you, somebody in the team that find can, somebody yeah. in the team that be yeah. like, hey, this is what you're doing. Yeah. You know, and that's what they do. Because I ran into that problem recently, also too. Like I was getting, um, like I was only like Fifty Cent had posted one of my uh, videos like that too, and my girl was like, yo, you probably got an email by somebody, and you didn't even check it. I'm looking at my email. And I'm like, I got like, I literally have like fifteen thousand like unread emails between like all my all my email addresses. Like, it's impossible for me to read everything. And I try to do everything myself. She's like, well, why don't you just have me go through some of the stuff? Like, you know what? It's kind of a, a genius idea to actually help because like it might be something that I don't catch because I'm so busy doing something else. And that's a good part about having a team because she may yeah. be looking like yo, you might want to look into this email. It might not be nothing. It might just be some bullshit, but it might be that one email where it's like yo, some random email address like yo, it's Jay Z. We want to sign you to Rock Nation. I, I did deleted the joint right. by mistake, so it's good to have a good to have a team around you. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't matter. Steve Jobs. Yeah, everybody's got it some sort of team around them yeah. helping them out you know and especially once you start getting like more successful and doing more stuff there's nothing wrong with having a team and a lot of people like try to pride themselves or even artists like yo I'm, I'm independent I do everything everything myself like it's not necessarily that you're doing everything yourself it's that you don't have a major label you still have people that's a team that's around you that's helping you right. doing it it's almost impossible it would, it would be kind of foolish to do everything yourself you see what I'm saying like, right. you're the rapper you're the producer you're the manager you're the uh, booking person like that too something's gonna get messed up eventually yeah somebody in your circle exactly help you out with that um, yep you got it and um, I'm pretty sure what else it was something else that I wanted to ask you about no it was about the uh, about, about the event was there anything else that we wanted to make sure the people uh, knew no that was pretty good that's it yeah okay, let them know one more time about the event like the date the time May Friday May 3rd Friday, stamps May 3rd. The bar, City of Tonawanda, 14120. No, 14150. <laughs> Close. I don't know my zip code where I live at. <laughs> <laughs> now I just thought about it. Right? <laughs> what is, what is, no, I don't know. <laughs> There's so many different ones. It's like you cross this little water and <laughs> hold different numbers. It's like, all right. But it's Stamps Bar, City of Tonawanda, 14150, Friday, May 3rd, 9 p.m. Definitely. Make sure you're there. Yep. Come early because I'm pretty sure it's going to be a lot. This is going to be a crazy. This is the first time I've actually actually did an event with uh, DJ Optimus. This is my first time I did an event with you also. Yeah. This is going to be. Yeah. Remember, $10 pre-sale. <laughs> Definitely get the pre-sale ticket. of the day of. Definitely. Don't want to miss this. DJ Bandana Black burning down the building. Hey, Come you know on. I'm acting a fool. I'm, I'm, we turning up. It's going to be nuts, man. <laughs> it's going to be nuts. We, def we definitely turn up. It's definitely going to be a, a good time. Um, as far as, like, I know you got the, um, just shout out the website one more time also. Crookednation.com. Crookednation.com. Everything is there. Anything that you want to know about them, whether it's merchandise, music, uh, contact info, any of that. Crookednation.com. All that. Get on my Instagram, my Facebook, Twitter. Spotify, Amazon, all that through crookednation.com. Definitely. Well, it was DJ Bandana Black, Mr. Well Connected, even more respected. Mr. Hashtag I am Buffalo. Salutes, heavy shots out to Diesel for stopping through. Man, make sure y'all there for the event. We out. DJ Ban Ban Bandana.